Well, those plastic bags you get at takeout or the grocery store could soon be a thing of the past. Cincinnati City Council will vote on a plastic bag ban this Thursday. Now, if passed, stores that currently serve food, including restaurants, grocery stores, delis, and more, must comply. Reporter Marielle Carbone is following this issue. She shows us the impact to local businesses and shoppers alike. Well, the ordinance that would ban plastic bags like this one was actually introduced prior to the pandemic. Now that put things on hold a bit and the pandemic actually influenced some of the wording in this policy. But shop owners I spoke to today tell me that this would be just another financial setback at a time where businesses are already struggling. The use of plastic bags. Plastic is much more lighter. It's convenient cost less is routine at Silver Glades Deli in downtown. They've been an integral part of our business as long as I can remember and has been for a while now. Owner Craig Silverglade says he understands the push to switch to paper. I think plastic eliminating that would be good for our environment. But says it would be an additional cost for business owners and at a time when businesses are already suffering due to the pandemic. With COVID and all the all the factors involved in what's been going on in our world, in our industry, uh, it would be a tough thing to change right now. This is not a new thing. Hundreds of cities and states already do this. Uh, so this idea that it hurts business, it's just not true. And Council member Chris Seelbach is behind the proposed city ordinance, which will be voted on on Thursday. It would ban all brick and mortar businesses that sell food from using plastic bags. Instead, they'll use paper. Customers will be charged five cents per paper bag, and that money would go straight back to the business or customers could purchase reusable bags. We're talking about 22 billion plastic bags that are used a year. And what that means for Cincinnati, we're taking millions and millions of these bags out of circulation. There is one tweak, and it's a direct result of the pandemic. During a declared emergency, the city manager will have the authority to lift the ban if they choose to. Some people think that the reusable bags could be carrying the disease or COVID-19. Many shoppers have already made the switch. We can't like it. Like Sheila Crawford. She's hopeful this legislation will lead to a cleaner city. Like I said, we live in a disposable world where everybody wants to throw things out. They want it fast, but they just really don't understand what it's doing to the planet. Now, if this is approved on Thursday, it would go into effect January 1st, and the health department would be in charge of enforcing this. Reporting downtown, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.